Do you know the difference between legal and law? Under the 1893 Britannic Dictionary of Art and Sciences, legal is defined as the undoing of God's law. And law is what you have come to this world with, natural law, under the total protection of Mother Nature, our Creator. And as established as Genesis 1, God gave men dominion over the land, air, and water, and that is the law. But guess what? Legal cannot interact with law. Legal cannot have laws. In order for that to happen, a corporative or corporate person must be created to create this bridge of interaction, of bondage. And that is where the masterpiece of slavery came from, which is the birth certificate of person, which is yet a corporate person created to enslave every child. My friends, and this is why there is a lot of pain, suffering, and bloodshed in the world. Because you have been forced into a slavery through this birth certificate of person. And all your natural rights have been taken away. You have none. They, call, they tell you that you have uh, constitutional rights. You have none. It is an illusion. It's a lie. Because if that was true, right, that you have rights, then you will be deciding, you will be deciding about the dominion that you have over your temple. You will be having a piece of inherited land and you will be having dominion rights over the natural resources that are sold to you as services. No one would ever trespass natural law. But if they are telling you what to do, which it is what they do mainly in the New Jersey slave plantation, in which they claim ownership of every child worldwide, in which they can take any child away from any parents anytime they want. It is simply because, you got to remember the maxim of law, those who create have dominion over all, all its creation. Well, our Creator created you, so He had dominion over you, and he lives in you, so he gave you dominion over your biology, the land, air, and water. But then these parasites came with the brilliant idea of creating the birth certificate of person to take all that dominion for them to have dominion over your biology, land, and natural resources for you to be enslaved. Hey, worry not. Now the truth is here. All you have to do is obviously break the hidden contract, which I call, by simply doing honor to the Sesto QVA, which is the name of your slavery, by the way, in which they require you to prove that you are alive. Just think about it, the psychopaths asking you to prove that you are alive in order for you to recover your natural rights. Which, with which you came to this world. Once you do this, they have no jurisdiction over you. Then you are in the jurisdiction of our Creator. And they have an oath that they can't trespass that jurisdiction. They cannot charge the living taxes. You don't have to pay them for to live in our land, for the natural resources, for everything you Everything our Creator gave you dominion over. Right? But it's up to you. You are the owner that has dominion over your ark, your vessel. But until you decide to take that courage and let them know that through the piece of memoir that I have done it, through the doing business as New Jersey Supreme Court and the United States Supreme Court, Right, there are businesses under this fictional character, then you're gonna take your natural rights, they have no authority over you. You dissolve absolutely everything, and anything and everything they have taken under that legal fiction has to be returned to you.
if they have honor. Obviously, they have no honor. But until you are under the jurisdiction of our Creator, you're going to be forced to get poisoned. Remember, get out of her, my people, or you will be infected with their plagues and you will be, you'll be part of their sins. By you accepting, you are just simply letting them know that you're consenting to be a slave. It is proven fact. It is up to you, my friends. It is time to wake up. They have no jurisdiction over you. Once you are in the jurisdiction of our Creator, Mother Nature, the universe, and our Creator now is going to protect you with its power. Until then, you are under the dominion of those that created the masterpiece of the birth certificated person, and they will continue to hurt you, cause pain, suffering, and bloodshed. It is time to wake up. It is time to return the power back to you, the land back to you, for you to live in peace, harmony, for you to be happy. And the only way to be happy is knowing who you are, recovering your purpose, your divine gift without poisoning your temple, and living in total connection with Mother Nature and our Creator. Simple. And that is happiness. Lots of love.